welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on one of my most highly requested looks, which is what I've been wearing in my past videos. I wore this exact look in my Q&A video and my, um in my try on haul and I got so many comments I got even like tweets and Instagram comments asking me to do a tutorial on that look so that so before I start I have a little disclaimer I do not wear this makeup look every day like this is a pretty heavy makeup look I'm not gonna lie I wear false eyelashes winged eyeliner contour highlight the whole shebang like this is a full face look so please don't comment that I wear too much makeup or anything I know it's a lot of steps I'm all for natural beauty like most days I just wear like okay I always wear falsies but like some BB cream and a little bit of bronzer and stuff like that this makeup look is something I'd wear for filming or let's say an event like Beauty Con LA which is where I'm going if you don't follow me on social medias then you wouldn't know but I am flying to LA so when you see this video I'll probably be like the night I'm leaving. I'm leaving Thursday night and I'm filming this on Tuesday so I don't know when I'm going to upload it but I will be at BeautyCon LA so if you guys haven't gotten your ticket definitely get it like I'm so excited to go and meet so many of you guys so if you want to meet me at BeautyCon make sure you go on Saturday and I'm going to be staying with Natalie who is Natalie Paris on YouTube and we're definitely going to film some videos together so comment down below what kind of videos you guys want us to film and enough with me talking and let's just get right into the tutorial the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids and I'm using my Anastasia Pro Pencil and I also use this as my brow bone highlight. So I'm just applying that all over my eyelid and then blending that out. Eyeshadow, I'm using my IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette and I'm taking the color Sunrise and Sunset using my Sedona Lace Brush and I'm just blending that out into my crease. I take my time blending out that crease color and then to my eyelids I'm applying the shade Mocha to my eyelids and I always like to do my eyes first just in case I have fallout so it doesn't affect my face makeup so I'm just applying that to my eyelid. Then up the eye look I'm taking this chocolate shade called Java with the pencil brush and I'm just applying that to my outer V and then taking a fluffy brush I'm just going to blend that out. So as you can see, I really take my time blending all of that out to make sure there's no harsh lines or anything and then I'm taking a Q-tip and I'm just cleaning up the edges to give me a very clean line. I skipped showing this step but I just barely filled in my eyebrows using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown and I don't really fill my eyebrows that much anymore because I'm kind of over that harsh thick brow look. So now moving on to face, I'm priming with Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer and then I'm going to apply foundation and for foundation I'm using my Makeup Forever HD foundation in the shade 153 and I, it does look a little bit too yellow for me but it matches my body, it doesn't match my face perfectly because I tan my body and not my face but yeah I'm just applying that as my base. Conceal my under eye circles and highlight my face using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair. And I'm just applying that in a triangular shape under my eyes and I'm also going to apply it to my forehead, nose, and chin. I'm 
going to go in and blend that out using my knockoff beauty blender and this is from Sonia Kashuk and I'm just using that to blend out the concealer. For my face, I'm using my new Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm and I'm using that with a Sedona lace brush and I'm just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, my neck as well as underneath my jaw. So then I'm going to contour my nose as well and this will just make my nose appear a lot more slimmer and then to set my under eye concealer I'm taking my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana and I'm just applying that with a sponge as well and this just helps brighten my face and just make everything look flawless. For blush, I'm using my new Urban Decay Afterglow blush in the shade Indecent and this is like a matte peach. There's no shimmer in it, which I love. So I'm just applying that with the same brush to the apples of my cheeks. Highlight, I'm not using my Soft and Gentle powder, which is probably really surprising. I'm using my new The Balm Mary Luminizer highlighter. And I'm just applying that to my cheekbones to give me a really pretty glow. And I love the packaging of this highlighter. Okay, my favorite eyeliner, which is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, I'm just going to be creating a wing. So I can't forget the falsies, I'm using the Red Cherry number 43 lashes and I didn't show this step because I have a whole video dedicated to how to apply false eyelashes. So then on the pencil brush, I'm taking the shades Java and Sunset again and, and just smudging that on my lower lash line just to make it look a bit more smoky. And then I'm taking L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and applying that to my top and bottom eyelashes. And I recommend you smudge your eyeshadow on your lower lash line after you do your concealer and highlighter and all of that because if you do the eyeshadow and then put concealer over it, you're just going to mess it up. So I recommend doing that last. For lips, I'm using my MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner, but in my videos I didn't have this lip liner yet. I just recently purchased this and I used NYX Lip Liner in the shade Nude. So you can use that if you don't want to go purchase a MAC Lip Liner. And then for lipstick, I'm using this new lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. I mean, it's not new, but I just recently purchased this as well and I love the shade. I think it complements the eye look so well. So that's it for the makeup look. <laughs> that's it for today's makeup look again i hope to see you guys at beauty con la don't forget to leave me and natalie some um video requests down below don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you again next time bye everyone